Okay, I'm at my buddy's prop shop here in Elginac, and I just figured I'd turn the camera on and show you this run of cannon carriages. There's three artillery carriages and two naval carriages. The center one, it's painted and all the hardware is made on it. He handmade all of it. It's all steel and it was hand fit and welded. Here's the trunnion cap and there's a, there's a hinge up here that this this goes into and then a pin to hold it. So this, it fits real tight and there's an elevator screw in the back. Get my camera in there. That you could adjust the barrel up and down. And then if you want to take the barrel off for transport, you just pop these pins here and the barrel will come out. It makes it a lot easier to, to transport. See how easy that is. And here's two other carriages that are just were just completed and now they're ready for paint. And he still has to do the the finishing on the barrels. So that comes out. And here's the, the plate that or the what's that called, Bill? The trunnion cap. Trunnion cap. And then the uh, locking locking stud. And the pin on there with the chain. There you go. And then, what, what are these for, Bill? Those are to? Those are the swab and the plunger holders and the bucket holder. Where's the bucket go? The bucket I... goes on this one. Okay. And then the uh, plunger's over here, the swab's over here, and usually had a worm that was loose. Okay. And then here's a navel that's all finished up. This carriage is made out of teak. And there's an elevator screw back there. I made a, a video of this one before, but this one's all complete. He put the line through it. Solid brass, turned wheels on it. And back to this one, there's these, uh, the hubs are on the, the hubs have the, the rings on them. And there's some little brads holding them down. I'll get a show, the, show you the back. Wear plates to handle and uh, these are the wear plates for the for the is it the case on carriage or the case on carriage yeah there's another uh, the carriage wheel so when it turns that's the wear plate and then here's the the hitch I guess with yeah. the handles yeah that's all hand done cleats you can take a picture of the So this is the first run. There's a hardware now where you can see what I'm at. Oh, okay. What's this called, Bill? That's a, uh, the trail fitting. That's the trail fitting. He made two others. He made all the he he made all the parts for these ones that are in bare wood right now. There's a handle, the wear plate that goes on here. So they're all done, he just needs to paint these up and then mount the hardware, and then he'll have five complete cannon carriages right here. There's the roll of the, the tire. Mm -hmm. This is the tire before it's welded and fastened on the wheel. And then there's, there's that brass bushing with a solid stainless, it's three quarter inch diameter axle going into the axle body. So I just wanted to start the camera and then show you the, the finished carriage. So that'll do it on the cannon carriages. Alright? Okay, one thing I forgot to mention on this completed cannon carriage was the paint, the paint job on it. There's three coats of Interlux 1026 wood sealer on everything and then there's one finished coat of a of a rust-oleum and it's olive green and I actually had to do these spokes with the sealer with an artist brush I, I built a little jig and set it up 
and I was able to spin it as I did it. So each one of these spokes was done with an artist brush with the sealer. And then, the, so in one day I put three coats of sealer on it. And then the next day I sanded it. And that took some time to sand all these, all the spokes and everything. And I sanded the rest of the parts. Of course, everything was taken apart. And then the next day I sprayed it. I had this on the same jig and I was able to spin it and it took only about 10 minutes to spray it. So that worked out well. So it has three coats of sealer and one coat of paint on it. And that's, that was an ex, you know, the sealer was exterior as well as the finish paint. So it's a good durable finish. So I just wanted to start the camera up and, and show you guys that, okay?